Jennifer Jared, while the report is showing growth in some areas, other sectors are seeing less employment. But the lieutenant governor tells me Ohio will come back in those areas. A new report from the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services shows unemployment in the state was at 3.6% in October. That's the highest it's been since July, but still below the national average in October of 3.9%. The rate goes up when some people get off the sidelines and say, hey, I might want to start looking. Lieutenant Governor John Husted says the increase in unemployment can also be in part attributed to the union auto workers strike. But despite that, overall, the state has seen an increase in employment in several sectors. That includes construction. That sector saw a 7.5% growth compared to last year. It creates a little bit of anxiety for me because a lot of those people in the construction industry our retirement age. Projects like Intel have brought in several of those construction jobs and other projects like Google, Amazon and Honda will also create more. But Husted says the state needs to be sure there's a new generation of that workforce. Really what our job is right now is to, is to help get more apprentices. The industry with the biggest net change is arts, entertainment and recreation. Compared to last year, the industry has seen a 23.5% increase in employment. Houston says that's a sign that more Ohioans have disposable income to spend on entertainment, restaurants and leisure activities at a higher rate. Prosperity creates growing prosperity across all sectors in the economy. Other industries are losing employees, though. The biggest loss is in real estate rental and leasing. I wouldn't say worry, but it is um, certainly a burden uh, as a result of these higher interest rates. So far this year, Ohio has gained nearly 90,000 private sector jobs. About 6,000 of those jobs have been created just over this past month. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.